It was the most dangerous object on Earth, a 14-pound sphere of plutonium called the Demon Core. On May 21, 1946, a scientist named Louis Slotin decided to test it, using nothing but a flathead screwdriver. It slipped, and the room filled with a blue light. The core had already killed before, just one year earlier. It killed scientist Harry Daglian when he dropped a brick on it. The scientists at Los Alamos stopped calling it Rufus, and renamed it the Demon Core, because it seemed to want blood. The experiment was insane. Sloten was manually lowering a beryllium shell over the core to push it to the edge of criticality. Famous physicist Enrico Fermi told him, you will be dead within a year if you keep doing that, he called it, tickling the dragon's tail. At 3000 in PM, the screwdriver slipped. The top shell fell. The core went critical instantly. There was no explosion, just a flash of blue light and a sudden wave of heat. Sloten reported a sour, metallic taste in his mouth. Sloten didn't run. In a split second, he used his bare hand to flip the hot beryllium shell off the core, stopping the reaction. He saved the seven other men in the room, but he absorbed a lethal dose of neutron radiation in less than a second. He walked out of the building and vomited immediately. He told his colleague, well, that does it. He knew he was already dead. His DNA had been shattered like glass, but his body just hadn't realized it yet. He survived for nine days. It was agony. His white blood cell count dropped to zero. His skin blistered and peeled off. He was rotting alive from the inside out, all because of a slip of the wrist. Sloten died on May 30th. The demon core was never used again for manual experiments. It was melted down and turned into a nuclear weapon, devastating in death, just as it was in life. Science has a price, and sometimes that price is paid in blood. If you respect the danger of the invisible, subscribe. We are just getting started.